Okay, so today I'm going to show you exactly how to feed your film into your Seismo 11 from start to finish and get it connected to your Prestige A3 Plus or A3 Plus R. I have the A3 Plus R with the Seismo 11 inline powder and shaker. I'm going to make sure the Seismo is plugged up. And then you want to come over and turn it on. Come by the take up reel and to check to make sure that your forward and reverse switch is in standby mode. You don't want it on just yet. So this is an important step. If you do have the Seismo 11, you will have to feed out about 50 inches worth of film. And this will be your reusable sheet to get each print or each inline round of prints connected and rolling through the size line. So you have two ends. You have one side that you want to put tape on like this. And the other side will connect to the film that's printing currently out of the printer. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that the film is coming out of the oven here and rolling this way. So you would take your masking tape and place them sticky side up onto the back of the film here. Then you will take the film and attach it to the cardboard roll. You want to do this pretty securely, make sure it's pretty secure in there. And now it's attached to a roll. And you're gonna lift your oven up here. And you're gonna take this down and you wanna slide it all the way through to the other side. Once you get the film out, you wanna pay attention to some important things. This here, right under this metal dome is the sensor. So the film has to drop down in front of that sensor for it to catch the sensor which is going to cause the take up roll to roll so you want to after you feed it through the oven you want to pull the film all the way through so it's about nice and straight like this and you want to take it and drop it all the way down in front of the sensor there. Then we're going to take the end of this film and feed it through right underneath the powder here. And then you want to pull it. You don't want to pull too much because you want the film to be dropped in front of the sensor. So once you have a good, I would say, drop down right here. I would leave this be. Let you have your film all attached and in lined up, ready to attach to the printer. You then want to turn on the take up reel. You want to put it upward in the forward position because the way you have the paper taped, it will roll the prints out and up. And as you can see, it's rolling pretty fast. The only reason why it's rolled pretty fast is because we had that film drop so low in front of the sensor. Once the film goes past where the sensor can read, it will stop. This does not mean that it's off. It just means that the film is not far, farther down enough to catch the sensor. And the way that it catches in the sensor as you're printing is the powder will drop down onto the film, making the film heavier and it will drop consistently down in front of the sensor. So I'm going to simulate that for you really quickly. So I have my hand down into the film and I'm going to tap it down into front of the sensor. And as you can see, the take up real rolls. Now what you want to do is grab you some masking tape and you want to take about three pieces and you're going to attach this to the other end of the film that's sticking out of the powder. As you can see here, I have three pieces and I've attached them to the top of the film. 
here. So one here on the end, one in the middle, one on the other one. And we're gonna set a print up to come out of the printer. And as it's coming out of the printer, we're gonna attach the film to the printing film. Okay, so you wanna grab your masking tape. We're gonna attach this to the film that's currently printing out. You see, I have my print there coming out and it's already came out about three or four inches out. So I'm lining the film that's attached to the Seismo up with the film that's printing out of the Prestige and I'm taking my masking tape and I'm attaching it very quickly, very delicately to the end of one side of the film. And you're gonna grab another piece and you want to quickly put the other piece on the other end gently because you don't want to disrupt the film printing and mess up your print head. And I add a third piece down the middle just to secure it um, so we don't have any breakage when the shaker starts going.